Hey you guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Sarah Hall with The Wealthy Optimist. Um, I actually caught a really bad chest cold while I was in Greece. I'm in Florence now and I thought I would show you a incredible recipe for an immune boosting soup. <laughs> Um, my friend actually shared it with me. She's been using the recipe for years and it helped me so much. I made a big, huge pot of it yesterday. Um, yesterday, I was feeling like death. You know when you're so sick that you forget what it was like to feel healthy? That was me yesterday. I was like dying. I'm like, this is the end. I don't even remember what it was like to feel healthy. Like, I'm just dying. That was me yesterday. I woke up today and I felt a little bit better. You can still hear it, hear it in my throat. I've got like a, it's a crazy like chest infection or chest cold or something. I don't know, but it's been like five days, six days, like pretty brutal. Um, and then feeling kind of like lightheaded and dizzy. So I wanted to share this recipe with you guys. It's super delicious. It's so amazing. It's got so many nice immune boosting um, vegetables and herbs in it and spices and it's so tasty. And it's kind of funny because it has curry in it and I'm in Italy and making curry when you're in Italy is kind of like, I don't know, it seems very strange. My brother laughed at me. He was like, you're making curry and you're in Italy. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but it's so good. So I'm going to share this recipe with you. It's really easy to make too. You can throw it together in like 15 minutes um, and then just let it cook for a little bit. So let's get into it. All right, so here are all my ingredients. So um, we are going to make the base with um, garlic. I'm probably going to use about six cloves of garlic because we are sick and garlic is a huge immune boost um, and bacteria killer. And then I'm going to use two small white onions. This is ginger. I probably used about like three inches of ginger um, and I chopped it up already. And then here I've got some little, this is an optional thing that you can put in. It's like tiny little flower pastas. They're so cute. Um, and then so the base is going to be with these guys and then we're going to put in, um, they didn't have just plain chicken broth. Yesterday I made it with plain chicken broth, but today the regular grocery store was closed. So I had to get this one was the only one they had in the other store, which is a mixed. So uh, carne mista, it's mixed meat broth. So it's got chicken and beef in it, which is all right. We're going to use that. Normally I would just use chicken broth though. Um, and then this is black pepper and curry. Okay, so that's gonna be our, our base. And then we're gonna add um, in three carrots that I'm going to um, peel so that they're just like shredded carrots. And then we're gonna add in our pasta so that it can get cooked. And then after that, we're gonna add in the last ingredient which is uh, black kale. So you can use black kale or regular kale or spinach, um, any kind of like leafy green with like iron and vitamins and B vitamins. So this is gonna be, all of these are really great things for kicking your cold in the butt. And we're also gonna use some olive oil because olive oil, you know, is what we're gonna cook the uh, veggies in. Um, so put a little bit of olive oil into your pan to start, maybe like a tablespoon. All right, so you can see here I've got my um, onions I put in first and with the olive oil I let them cook a little bit and then I added my garlic. So all the little garlic smells amazing in here already. And now I'm gonna add all of my cut up ginger. And I'm gonna let that cook for probably a couple of minutes until it starts to cook down. I forgot one other ingredient. We're also gonna use lemon. So I'm gonna put half the juice of this lemon and I'm gonna squish as much of the pulp in there as possible um, because lemon gives you a big boost of vitamin C and as we all know, or if you don't know, you should know, it's very, very good when you're sick. So when you can see the ginger start to brown a little bit, it is ready to pour the broth in. And you're gonna use the entire um, container of broth. It's like a liter. Okay, so the next step what I'm doing here is I'm using a peeler to just peel the carrot and I'll peel it all the way down until there's like nothing left so that you get these long strips like this. And then what I'll do is I'll bunch them up together like this and I will actually just kind of cut it like that 
so that it's more in, in a little bit smaller pieces and I'm gonna add those little shredded carrots right into the soup and just let them cook in there and that's the second um, part here. So I'm gonna go ahead and shred up all these and add them in there. Just so you can see what I mean, so I've shredded it all down, there's just this tiny little piece left, but I'm going to cut up this piece like this and add those little pieces in there too because that's the heart of the carrot and it's really good for you. Um, so don't forget to do that. You can also alternatively just take the carrot and just dice the whole thing up, but I like it like this way. It actually cooks faster because it's very thin um, and I just like the texture better, but it's your, your choice. Okay, so there are the three little insides of the carrots, so I'm going to chop those up now. All right, and those are going to go in the pot too. So you can see I've got all the carrots in there now, and I'm just going to start bringing it back up to a boil. It smells really good. You also may have noticed that I'm not using a cutting board. I'm actually staying in an Airbnb, and for some reason, they don't have a cutting board here, so I'm just cutting on the counter. Um, but please use a cutting board at home because um, this is not good for the counters. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna add our spices into it. So I like to put lots of black pepper, it's good for you. Um, and curry, you can also add turmeric, but uh, they didn't have any here at the stores that I searched for, so oh well. And as far as the amounts of curry and um, black pepper go, or turmeric, I would add like a tablespoon of curry and then half a tablespoon of uh, turmeric, and then probably between like a quarter to half a tablespoon of black pepper, but that's depending on your taste. If you can't handle spicy, probably add less. Um, and turmeric, curry, and black pepper are all really, really good for you. Uh, so if you can find turmeric, do definitely add that in. I would have added it in, but unfortunately, could not find it literally anywhere. So I almost couldn't find curry, but then I did. So um, when I was in uh, Greece, I couldn't find black pepper anywhere. It was so strange. Um, also, you can optionally add salt into this. I don't personally add salt because I think the broth is already salty enough um, because they do add sodium in there, but it's up to you. It's a taste thing, so if you want to, go ahead. Next up, we're gonna add the lemon. I cut it into quarters, so I halved it, and then I cut it into quarters so it's easier to squeeze. So just squeeze it all in there. Make sure you de-seed it first and try to get as much of the pulp in there as possible. If you have like a little juicer, you know, like one of those little lemon juice squeezy things, that would be very helpful. It smells amazing, just so you know. Like, it smells like ginger, heaven, curry, paradise. Mm. And the next thing that we're gonna add is um, little like pastas. So this one's optional. This is so that it's more filling. Um, it depends on what you want. If you just want like a vegetable soup, that's totally fine. But if you wanna add something like this, uh, these are great. And I think these are so cute, they're little flowers. I love them. But anyways, so you put like probably like maybe, I am not measuring this with a measuring cup because there is no measuring things here in this Airbnb. So I'm putting probably like, I would say this bag was 250 grams. I probably put 100 grams of it in yesterday. So I'll put roughly 100 grams of pasta in it again today. And you can add that into this part now because these take about six minutes to boil. And then after about six more minutes of it cooking, you're gonna add in the last thing, which is the kale, because the kale cooks really, really quickly. And basically you just add it in, stir it for like a minute, and then you're ready to eat. All right, you can see the little pastas are, are ready. All the little flower-shaped pastas are ready. So now we're gonna add in our black kale. Just like that. Oh, me too. And stir it, you can see it's already cooking. Doesn't that look delicious? That green really breaks up the uh, orange, but you can tell it just looks so healthy. It smells so tasty. And we can turn off the heat. And just let it simmer for like a minute or so, and then it's ready to enjoy. 
So a little bit of information about the ingredients we use and how they help fight your virus, uh, your flu or your infection that you have. Um, garlic and onions both have sulfuric compounds which help uh, fight bacteria and infections, which is awesome. Kale is high in iron and B vitamins, which is great, giving you that extra boost that you need to keep your blood cells up and help keep your immune system strong. Chicken broth has been shown to um, increase your killer T cell activity, which fights bacteria and infection. And carrots are full of beta carotene, which converts to vitamin A in your system. And beta carotene helps to support the mucous membranes in your body, which line your respiratory. Um, so if you are sick with a respiratory infection, you're gonna need that little boost of help to help fight off that mucus. And of course, lemons are full of vitamin C and herbs and spices such as turmeric and curry have been used for centuries from everything from medicinal use to fighting off infections, um, and everything under the sun that you can think of. So they're just really good to use and have in your cupboard as an arsenal to help protect against cold symptoms. And there it is, our delicious, delicious soup. It just looks so nutritious, like a bowl of health. It's time to enjoy my delicious soup. It was so easy and quick to make. I hope that you guys enjoyed um, watching and that you enjoyed making it yourself. I would love to hear in the comment section below if you ended up trying to make this soup or if you have another version of an immune boosting soup. Um, I would love for you to share in the comments and let me know how it worked out for you, if you find any of these ingredients um, to really help when you're sick. And yeah, if you have any other um, awesome soups that you normally use, oh my voice, <laughs> or any tips on how to help um, when your voice, when you're losing your voice. I know I use like honey and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, it was awesome to see you guys again today. And I look forward to sharing the rest of my trip with you. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and um, make sure you share this video with somebody you know that would really benefit from having um, a delicious and nutritious immune boosting soup. Thanks you guys, see you in my next video, bye.